Heather. Barry, tonight has just been a mixed day of emotions, really. I would say that every single person that has been out here, whether they are first responders, family members, friends, everyone has been in a very emotional state. It's been very difficult to watch. Uh, we saw plenty of people pouring out into the parking lot of that hotel where those family members were staying and they were just wailing, crying, holding on to each other. And there's still so many families that just don't know the condition of their loved one. It's so hard to watch. Families fearing the worst, leaning on each other for support, barely able to stand on their own two feet. Gilbert Crispin says one of his friends is awake and started recalling the horror. They were they were trying to survive. They talk about people getting shot and they were under the corpses and they were trying to they were trying to, to stay there until everything was cleared up and, and it's it's horrible to know that they are all your family and all your friends. Looks like we need to wait and Jaime, who says his cousin still hasn't been heard from, is angry. If our loved ones are dead. While inside the hotel, he says doctors were able to provide a list of the injured, leaving family members to believe the names not listed are the ones that didn't make it. Send me a picture in this day and age. You can, the, the, the investigator can send me a picture and I can actually certify, yes, that is my cousin. He is dead. Thank you very much. Baron Serrano says he hasn't been given official word on his brother, so they're holding out hope that he's alive. I'm completely desperate because I need to know something and nobody can give me that any information. I mean, they're trying their best. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say not. They're very organized out there in, in there in the hospital, but there's not a lot of information. Some cases we don't have family and we are all we have. And they are calling names and there's no family to claim for that people. And that's why I'm here because I have friends and even though they might not let me know much, I'm still here to see if they're okay and if I can get to see them again. So we have actually been out here at this senior center uh, just a few miles away from where the hotel is and just a few miles away from where this nightclub is located. This is where they are having families come tonight to talk with counselors and that is 800 Delaney Street and we do know that tomorrow uh, they plan on having people come here once again starting at 8 a.m. and if you cannot find a ride or you don't know how you're going to make it here there are shuttles from the hotel that will pick you up and will take you to this location uh, and then shuttle you back to the hotel if need be. For now we're live Heather Lee Channel 4 the local station. Heather, we know counselors will be there. Will any organizations be coming out to speak to victims? You know, at this point, we don't have a list of the organizations that we'll, will be here, but we do know that the medical examiner's uh, office will be here. They will be out here and they will be talking with families. And we can only anticipate that that means that they may be telling families uh, a list of the people that maybe died from their injuries. Of course, we don't know at this moment whether that's going to happen or not, but that is something that I've been hearing from some family members. And again, that starts at 8 a.m. here tomorrow morning. Heather Lee reporting to us live from Orlando. Thank you, Heather.